than this voice you will know. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the Delilah Show. What can I do for you tonight? Oh, let me tell you. My girlfriend and I, her name is Danielle. We've been together for about 10 months now. Oh, you know that voice. Here she is. Please welcome Delilah. Thank you. I was watching back in the green room. You guys are hysterical. It's fine. He brings out the best in me. Hey, or the yeah. worst. I'm or the sure. worst. Yeah. I feel no wilder today than normal. I know. That's yeah. because it gets me wound up. And but, we're like brother and sister. We can but, argue like Yeah, that. absolutely. But that voice right there that I just heard... As being a so, person in radio, I always recognize great voices. Look, you've even so. calmed him down. You see how he yeah, changed I'm, his I'm, voice I'm, into like, like a late night. Uh -huh. He's that a was Now that Mama Delilah's around, uh -huh. he's just like, oh Mama no. Mama Delilah. See, Mama it's little stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, no, we're talking about daytime. Hey. Delilah. <laughs> but she's on at night. I know she's on at yeah. night. We know she's got that voice. Tell everybody how you got started and explain the show. Well, I was one of those kids in school who never shut up. Uh -huh. You. you you have children? Do you have one that never shuts up? I know one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Autumn. You. Yeah. So I was in junior high and I was born with the show off gene. I love to show off. The problem is when you're 12, 13 years old and you have the show off gene but no talent, uh -huh. <laughs> it's a problem. I can't throw a ball. I can't dribble a ball. I, I had no talent. I can't sing. I can't dance. Well, you had a talent. was talking. That's so talent. <laughs> I won a speech contest mm. and the men that were the judges Jerome and Steve Kanegi two brothers came up to my mama afterwards and said man your daughter really likes to talk <laughs> <laughs> and my mom starts apologizing oh I know we can't get her to shut up and they said no no Mrs. Luke this is a really good thing yes. we own a radio station and so at 14 years old they taught me how to write school news school sports how to write commercials I worked all through high school wow. for them um, I graduated and the day I graduated my daddy kicked me out and because in addition to not learning how to shut up I didn't know when not to talk back <laughs> yeah, yeah. and so I left home to find my fame and fortune and I've been on the air ever since wow, wow. I want to that's that's amazing so you have a long long tenured career in radio what's one of your favorite stories of a caller or a listener uh, there are so many. I think probably uh, years ago I got a call from a guy who missed a girl. He had left her years ago. Her girlfriend was listening, called in, left the phone number, said, oh my God, I knew them in high school. The two connected. They went to meet at a restaurant. They hadn't seen each other. He went to Vietnam, had not seen each other since the day he left for the military. They sit down to have their first dinner together in 23 years. Oh. And she said, honey, I have a surprise for you. <gasps> Let me guess. A child in walks his 23 year old daughter. Wow. Oh my, I just got chill bumps listening to that he, story. Because he left to go to the, the, war, the war, she thought he had dumped her. He was writing letters home she never got. They weren't being delivered from Vietnam. Wow. So, long story short, I got an invitation to their wedding. Nice. Aww. Then their daughter was her maid of honor. Wow. That's so special. And it's so special that you're back on the radio here in Chicago yes, on 93.9. Yes. Back on the light at night. Yes. So well, we are back. so excited to have you back here, Thank and congratulations you. on Thank all you. of your success. You can catch Delilah on the new 93.9 Light FM weeknights from 7 to 11 p.m. The queen of sappy love songs. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.